Hello everyone, in this video I will show you two different mesh merging techniques using random flow and creative flow. This basically tricks the user into thinking the geometry is a single mesh, but in reality is composed of different objects or mesh islands. Let's just add a material to our test model here. Also, the different parts needs to share the same material or shader in order for this method to work flawlessly. The first method I'm going to show you is from Creative Flow, and this involves the operator called Data Transfer Cut, which can be found in the Extras submenu. I'm going to duplicate the base mesh to use as the merge objects, and also make sure to apply their scale and rotation to avoid any errors in transforms in the future. Before using the operator, let's make sure that the order of selection is correct. This only works on two selected meshes for now. So selection 1 is going to be the merge object and selection 2 which is the active object is going to be the target object or the merge 2 object. After activating the operator, press the F9 hotkey to show the redo panel so we can modify the result of the operation, like changing the offset or removing the corner verts which are making up the edges in the non-manifold area that results in an ingon. Raising the max angle value will get rid of most of them and give you a cleaner topology in the cut area. Now we can modify the rest of the properties to make the cut area look the way we want to. As you can see, the two objects look like they are a part of the same topology using booleans and beveling. Now let's do the same to the other object. Also, an important note I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, both of these methods use cycles render in order to display correctly. Internally or in the script, the data transfer cut uses the boolean modifier to achieve this effect and is of course limited to the current state of development of said modifier. That being said, I've got this to work every time because I know the power of boolean and blender and also its limitation. Now let's move over to how random flow does it. It's basically the same steps minus the boolean and everything has to be joined to the active mesh. Random flow does this using a shader system in Blender, particularly the bevel shader node, which of course for now only works in cycles. Use the add bevel node operator, which can be found in the shading submenu. This basically adds a bevel node to the connections of your shader, placing itself as the first one connected to the normal input of your material shader with the previously connected nodes, if they exist, reconnected to the newly added bevel shader's normal input node, making the whole operation seamless. But like I said, in order for this to work, let's join the meshes together. There's no magic code from the add-on to make it work like this. This is just how the bevel shader node behaves normally for faces that overlap in the topology making areas like this look like they've been modeled this way. If you have used the add bevel node operator on a material previously and wish to modify its existing values, just use the mode replace, then you can use the redo panel properties to change the effect of the bevel node shader. The only disadvantage for this technique is that all the edges share the same bevel width or radius value. So if you wish to make the bevel wider on a particular overlap area, all the sharp edges in the mesh will also have that effect. We can, however, isolate this area by separating it as another object from our work mesh. In this example, I split it from an area of sharp edges to make the effect visible, but if you were to do it in an area with a softer transition, the object separation will not be noticeable. Let's look at the two methods side by side. With practice, you can make this work really well on areas of your model where the underlying topology is too complicated to add any further extrusions. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new about the add-ons. If you have any questions, use the comment section or the links in the description. Take a peek at my Patreon too. Subscribe and hit notify 
Thank you for watching and have a nice day.